Hey, it's Mango Say Hello Co. And I have a highly requested video for you guys today. I'm going to be comparing the Lily Jade Elizabeth, which I have here in Galena, totally gorgeous, to the Megan in Brandy, also by Lily Jade. These bags are really similar in the fact that they have a couple of outside pockets and can both be worn backpack style. You can see my backpack straps here are already attached. The Megan's drop between here and here is a good bit longer than the Elizabeth, so it throws over your shoulder and hits you about here. Whereas the Elizabeth, the shoulder straps you can see are a good bit shorter and it does fit over your shoulder, but it fits right underneath your shoulder instead of a good bit below, so that's just personal preference. It also has the gorgeous backpack straps, which are so great for being a mama of little ones and chasing little toddlers. Backpack straps are just so helpful, I use them all the time. Just a quick heads up, if you're looking for an in-depth review of the individual bags, I have those on my channel, but this is gonna be basically a quick overview of what they can both hold comparing the two in that way so if you're like why is not she talking about what she's packed that's a whole different thing you can see those videos I'll link them below we're just talking about an overview of what these two can pack so I'm gonna bring the camera over to the table tilt it up and let's do it I've been thinking a lot about how I wanted to shoot this video and as you can see what I've done is I've packed up my insert extremely packed snacks wipes waters blankies diapers all of that stuff you need on the go and I'm going to take my insert and put it right into the Megan. And then I have a few extra items. I'm gonna show you how those fit around the outside so you can get a good idea. Okay, so the incredible thing about the Megan is that insert is both wide and very full to the top and it fits in this bag, no problem. And you can still get a really good bird's eye view of everything you have packed. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how some of these last minute additional items would fit in these outside pockets. I would take my phone and I would put it right in front here. I would take my sunglasses and put them in a side pocket. Hand sanitizer in this other side pocket, which fits really nicely. And I think my chapstick, I would also fit right here in this front and the buckle will still close down on all of those outside pockets. So what I'm going to do to kind of give you an idea of how much room is left on top of this bag is I'm going to take my Sakura Bloom ring sling, which is beautiful, and put it here on top. You can see that it will still zip up across the top even with that in there. Now with that on top, this is a Megan with, I, I would about be topped out on what I would want to pack in here and still carry it day to day. You can see like it does have some room here on the side. I've this bag for almost a year now so it does have a bit more slouch than you know one right out of the box but still this is gonna be pretty heavy for a day out so let's take everything I have in here and move it into the Elizabeth and make use of those outside pockets so this is the Elizabeth in Galena you can see that beautiful shimmer of the leather here and this bag is laid out really differently than the Megan because it is here let's see them side by side it is quite a bit shorter this is the Megan standing up tall and there's probably can you tell there's probably a three inch difference between the height of the bags. From the side, you can see that the Megan is very wide here across the top, whereas the Elizabeth is quite a bit more narrow. But at the bottom, they're actually pretty similar in width, especially once I start filling up this Elizabeth. So let's do it. So what I have here is my insert that's fully packed up right out of the Megan. I have my Elizabeth miscellaneous items here in the front and my ring sling off to the side. What I'm going to do is take out some of these items in the middle of my insert because I know that with my width of the Elizabeth, I'm going to need some things taken from the inside and put on the outside. So I'm going to take my snack tower and put it off to the side here as well as my wipes. What that is going to do is create a little bit more slouch in my insert so that I can squeeze it and fit it in here. And don't worry, we're gonna find a place for all those items. All right, so if you can see, if I had kept those items here in the middle, this bag would be like very hard to get anything in and out of because there wouldn't be enough give in the middle. So what I do is I take my wipes, I turn the Elizabeth around where these awesome backpack straps are. There's actually a hidden pocket right here in the back and that's where I like to keep my wipes. Snack tower, and I'm actually gonna switch it. I'm gonna take out my thermos container put that right in there take the container and put it here in this outside pocket because why have water bottle pockets on the outside if you're not going to use them I think except for my swell I I digress the swell it kind of bothers me how tall it is sitting here on the outside of my Elizabeth so I will keep that one here on the inside okay I'm also going to take out my wallet this is a full-size wallet and I'm going to put it here in this front pocket that has a magnet along with my phone on the other side standing up I really 
really like the easy access that gives me to two really important things in my bag. The Elizabeth has these gorgeous two front pockets. I think they're so beautiful. I'm going to put my sunglasses and my hand sanitizer in here, and those fit great, and close it up with a snap. On this other side, I'm just gonna drop in my chapstick, and now we're gonna see how I'm able to fit my ring sling here in the middle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to create even more room in the middle is I'm going to take out these juice boxes that I have stuck in there, and I believe they should both fit in this outside pocket, and they do, and that way I have my drinks on the outside of this bag, and I've created a bit more of a pocket here in the middle in which I'm going to take my ring sling and kind of roll it up. Nothing crazy, just like this. And I'm going to tuck it right there in the middle of the bag in the space I've created by moving the juice boxes and the water bottle out to the side. Okay, this is gonna be a little tight, let's see. All right, there you go. This is the Elizabeth packed up, same as the Megan, it is full. This bag is now pretty wide. It is very fat here across the middle but it is holding everything that I had in the Megan. When you're looking at the size difference in these bags, you're going to have to consider what you need to pack. Yes, the Elizabeth makes up for its lack of height and its great ability to put things in here on the outside pockets, and that's really nice, especially when you need to be able to grab water or juice quickly and on the go, but it's just not as big of a bag. It is a big bag, but at this point, it's going to be kind of hard to carry. I probably would leave the top open and carry it by these straps here, but if you're going to wear it as a backpack, you're going to need to be able to zip the bag closed so nothing falls out, and at this point, because the bag is so wide, it's not gonna be extremely comfortable as a backpack, all of that to say, I love the Elizabeth. I think it's beautiful. I think the pockets are so well laid out. I just would, I would probably never try to pack my ring slinging it. And at that point, you can see that the bag is really a lot more flexible. It's not as like bulgy here across the back. Without that ring sling in there, this bag becomes a lot more manageable. So just something to consider if you're okay grabbing this and going and holding the two separate things. Or if you maybe would like a bag that just can like take and take and take, then I'd recommend the Megan. Just totally personal preference. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful, giving you an idea of what these two totally beautiful bags can hold. If you have any questions about these bags, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out those other videos, check out my description box where also where the subscribe button is. You guys should click that so you can keep up with all my fun content. And my social media information like Instagram and Facebook will also be in that description box. There's just a ton of information down there. And I'm so glad you checked out this video. You guys have a good day. Bye.